Hi, welcome back to Jimmy and Gordon YouTube channel. In the last video, we have seen how to design this material design login screen. And in this video, I will be completing the login screen entirely. I mean, the one thing that we have to do is we have to give a visual feedback when the username and password, either of them is wrong. Then we have to fix the bugs that occurred because of this new design, I, like uh, we remove the header text and all. So let's see how we can do this. So coming back to the <coughs> project, we have login.fxml. I'm going to make the call, use the make control because we removed something from the UI. So we have this title label, which is not no longer available. So private label title label is no longer a fxml element so we have to definitely remove it because we have removed that title element from the so we don't have this title label we don't have this title style and all so let it go then what we have to do is in case of password failure i mean authentication failure we have to notify we previously we were notifying using the title label currently there is no title label so we can do that so i'm going to remove that also let me run the program now if I run the program, uh, the actual username and password is uh, GC root for me. So I'm going to type something else. And if I press login, uh, there is no message. So I have to give that first. So what I'm thinking about doing is I just want to give a, a color change here, like a red color so that the user will know it's a failure. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more class in this login screen specific section that will be dot wrong credentials. So wrong credentials. So here I'm going to add something. So the wrong credential uh, should do something like uh, I'm going to change the text field color. So that should be JFX unfocus color, which will change the unfocus color of uh, JFX text field. I will tell you what it is in a moment and we have to give a color here like that uh, So we have to give a color constant here. So for here minus FX I'm going to give something like red and for now I'm going to give the color as something like uh, FF9800 Let's see Then here I'm going to give FX for it is actually a red color but uh, a random color and give me a random color then we will fix it later then here we i am going to give one more entry that is jfx focus color so this will change the color of the text field fx right now what i'm what i want to do is if he entered the wrong username and password i want to add this css class to that controller uh, to that uh, control i mean to this username and password controls so for that if uh, this else case will be executed if the username and password is wrong so username dot get style get style class which will return an observable list of style classes then i'm going to add one more entry here i'm going to give the class name wrong credential then again I am uh, repeating the same for username, uh, same for password. So password dot get state class dot. What it actually do is uh, it will add this wrong credential CSS class into this component. So let's run the program. So I'm going to type something random, blah blah. Then if I press login, you can see that the color is changed. So the color is changed, which means I mean this is enough to let the user know that it's a wrong credential so if you want to change this color to something pure red then we can do that so here we have fx red and then hash what is the net base color picker so hash ff uh, rgb so it is red green blue so this should be pure red let's see i'm going to type something wrong then if I press login, it's a red color, which means it's a, I think that's enough. This red color is not that good match. That's why I chose that color because this text is not uh, this password and username text is not visible. But I think uh, pure red will be good. So 
uh, that's about designing the library assistant login screen in the upcoming section we'll be designing our main screen so uh, for me preparing the tutorial i made a reference design for the main window also i'll just show you that so if i successfully log into my project you can see i have changed the entire ui i have added this book issue then review submission this is not completed then we have this issue button here we have a components and this menu bar is also changed so in the upcoming videos i'll be showing how to do this ui step by step so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos in the future thank you very much